Hey YouTube, this is Roger. Today I'm working on a 2012 Honda Accord and uh, I started this off by doing the big service on it. I was doing the timing belt. I put a Gates Racing timing belt, all of the tensioners, pulleys, everything on the front side of the engine. That um, is all buttoned up and running perfectly now. Did a couple of small fun things underneath the hood and so I started looking at the intake and the exhaust. For the exhaust, it was uh, extremely restricted, so I deleted the last two uh, mufflers on the back, gave it a couple tips, and then I started looking at the intake. And what I wanted to do, uh, so basically, let me tell you what the issue was first. Um, when you looked at the intake before, this is the battery holder. The battery sits right here, and this is um, like a, a little slip where the air is supposed to come in and what happens is it comes in goes over goes down underneath the battery and it changes directions like five times and so i wasn't super satisfied with that i wanted to try to modify it and so the first thing that i did was removed all of the ducting and so i got the case out from underneath the actual air filter and then i just took some uh, zip ties i punched some holes in it and took some zip ties, fastened it, connected up the mass airflow sensor, and it ran perfectly. Honestly, the, the sound that it gives is uh, probably worth it. Uh, it really doesn't cost anything uh, to do it this way, but I don't recommend leaving the, the paper air filter. This was just a prototype to see if this was gonna work. Um, there are splash guards. Now, some cars may not have splash guards, I don't know. Um, what yours looks like, but mine does. Uh, but there is a root for uh, water, like so if it's, uh, you got a lot of water on the road, that uh, where it could splash up, get into this paper air filter, and then that would get sucked into your engine because you got high vacuum here, and um, that would be detrimental to your engine. So the prototype worked. Now I gotta come up with something a little bit better. <laughs> And so what I decided to do was to take the stock piece that sits in here and it's got two fasteners and just because it does have a good stable way of mounting, you can see there's a bolt there and then there's a, there's like a connection here. It's just where it kind of pops on. And so what I'm going to do is take this and actually pop it right there. And then this bolt is going to go in, and then I got a K&N air filter that if it does happen to get wet, which is pretty unlikely in this position, but if it does, then it's going to be completely okay. And then as you can see, what I've completely done is I've cut out the bottom. And so there's a little bit because I wanted to still be able to use the fastening part here and the fastening part here. But otherwise, I've cut out the bottom of that. Just a regular grinder, uh, nothing fancy, nothing big. And then I'm gonna put this in like this. And then the way that the battery sits, so this actually comes in and blocks the heat from the radiator. So this is literally how this sits. And so a cold air intake would actually be shot down in this space. And that's exactly where all my air is gonna be coming from. So uh, pretty happy with it. Didn't uh, didn't cost a whole lot of money. It was 50 bucks for this Canon air filter, and uh, everything's just going to connect up and go in back just like it did before. The uh, the efficiency is going to go up if I keep my foot out of it. Uh, this is actually the kid's car, so not mine. But so she keeps her foot out of it, and um, just really happy with it. Wanted to share that with you. Thanks for checking it out. Hope you have a good day.